Houston Live correspondent Lauren Kelly, our girl, she is out of Memorial helping with that kitchen garden and installation. Girl, what a backdrop. This is so fun. This is the most absolutely beautiful yard in the making, I'm telling you. Perfect for summer gardening. I'm here in Memorial with Nicole Burke of Rooted Garden, and she is going to teach me what I need to do and you guys for some summer gardening tips if you want to have your own veggies right outside of your door. Thank you for having us and showing us all the ropes because I need to know the ropes here. <laughs> I'm so excited you guys are here. I've been on this show before, but we've never gotten to show you what we really do in the garden space. All so right, today let's, we get to do it. Tell me how to pick the perfect set up for your kitchen garden. So our consultant comes out, Monica did this one. This was given as a gift from husband to wife for that Christmas. Points to that husband. Way to go. That's right. Way to go. So um, a rooted garden consultant comes out, but if you just want to walk out into your space, the first thing you need to look for is sun. Okay, so how do we find the perfect so sunlight? So generally you want to have your garden Double. facing the south. Okay. So in this garden space, the south is actually kind of that way. Okay. So as you can see, we're getting lots of sunlight on this bed. We'll get at least six to eight hours. That's your goal. That's Minimum a good amount of time. Goal. Okay, and yes. it gets really hot here. Does that matter if the sun is directly over your garden? So even though it gets hot, what we work on is timing. So if you've got the right plants in your garden for the season, they're always going to need a lot of sunlight. So okay. if you've got the main thing is planting the right thing at the right time and then maximize the sunlight. The All next right. thing is have it close to your kitchen. Okay. In close proximity. Because you don't want to forget about your veggies. That's right. Okay. So if we were to put this bed way in the back of the backyard, our client She's got a lot of kids. She has a busy lifestyle. So the best thing for this is to put it right here. She'll drive okay. up in the driveway. Her kitchen door is right there. So she's going to be in her line of sight, even when she's running from activity to activity. Okay. Now, Nicole, you said there's a bunch of components. There are six main components that go in. That's to right. This. Tell me about them. So at the base of the garden, we always put a gravel base. This helps with drainage, and it also ensures that the bed's going to last longer. Then we always do a custom-raised bed. In this case, we built it out of cedar. We also do them out of steel and stone. I want to point out this is beautiful. It matches the fence. That's right. We are very detailed in okay. our rooted garden designs. And you can do the same. You just want to look at the area that you're putting the garden in and try to match it. We always have great, we make our own soil blend. We do trellises because a lot of the vegetables that you're growing in your garden need to vine. Okay. So a trellis provides that support so that it doesn't end up pouring out all over your bed. Gotcha. So in this case, we used a cattle panel trellis. That way we can vine the plants right up the fence. We always put in irrigation. This makes the care for the garden so much simpler. Okay. And like you said, things are about to really heat up. That and irrigation so, is perfect. Exactly. And finally, let's, the plants. Yeah, let's talk about your soil test. This is very important. Yeah, so soil is the most critical component of your garden. Okay. And I have a super scientific test that everyone at home can do. Super scientific. All right, this is called okay. the hand grab test. The hand grab soil test. I named test. it myself. Okay. It took a long time to okay. come up with the name. All right, so you're going to take your hand okay. and make a fist and hold Hold it tight. Okay. And then when you open up your hand, what you want to oh. see is that the soil slowly falls out of your hand, but not too quickly. Oh, So if nice. the soil were to stay in a big clump like it does if right. you grab normal Houston soil, okay. it's got too much clay. Okay. And if it were to drop immediately out of your hand, it's too dry, it's got too much sand. Okay. But we got the perfect blend We got right the here. perfect blend right here. That was a good soil test. It was a good soil <laughs> test. I feel very at like Rooted a Garden. Follow them on Instagram today or check them out online at rootedgarden.com. That's right. Speaking of timing, we have a free download so you know what to plant every season in the kitchen garden in Houston okay. at rootedgarden.com. All right, you guys, we're going to come back. We're going to have a little plant sesh. That's You're right. Teach me how to do some planting with Nicole Burke of Rooted Garden. Back to you guys, Derek and Courtney. Oh, Lauren, have fun out there, <laughs> and we will check back in with you a little Bye. later on in the show. I love Nicole's Instagram. Her basil seed video. Very cool. Very educational. Watch it.